It is a weather alert day due to the potential for dry thunderstorms later on this afternoon, this evening. Uh, by the way, I'm Mark Peterson, the Port News Now First Alert Weather Center. Yeah, we want you to be uh, vigilant. Certainly, if you're in and around forested areas, uh, the dry lightning could trigger, again, some fires. So we want you to be aware of that we are in a fire weather warning uh, until midnight tonight. Uh, because of uh, erratic winds, dry lightning, and that potential as we do have high fire danger. So we just want you to have a go bag ready. This unending heat is going to continue with a chance of thunderstorms later on today. And then we get into Thursday and Friday. It's still all of the heat from that uh, high pressure dome. Uh, we will start to see it break next week, but not through the weekend. Um, highs? Well, we hit 97 yesterday. We're going to continue to have temperatures. But right now, we've got 12 days in a row of 90 and above, and the record is 15. That was set back in 2017. So the current streak is 12 days. We're forecasting seven more. That'd be 19. Uh, and what we're really saying is it's very hot. You need to take breaks. You, the longer it goes, it just continues to hammer on our homes, our cars, and on us. Uh, pets and certainly the elderly. So please, please be aware of that. Uh, we are going to see 99 Thursday and Friday and then triple digits again with weather alert days for Saturday, Sunday, Monday because of the excessive heat. And the fact is this is wearing on everyone. And uh, even though we've become acclimated, one fifth of homes in our area don't have air conditioning. So seek cooling centers, take it easy and come up with a plan to beat the heat.